This one is fun and horrible at the same time. It's horrible if you try to beat it the legit way, but it could be fun if the exploit still works where I can steal a turret. Because it's an on-foot sniper kind of mission, normally. The question is... Will I beat this on my first try? Or is this going to end up being fun and a half? Way more fun than I expected to. Steal the convoy's route plans from the communication tower. Destroy the convoy before it reaches the CCA base. Fine. I guess we'll do the thing. Do the thing. What thing? The thing! I didn't have to tell Julie what thing. Good morning, Major. The People's Republic bids you welcome to its proposed colony of Europa. A Russian convoy is due through here any minute now. We are unaware of which route they will take. We have obtained a Russian uniform for you and altered your sidearm to hold far more sniper rounds. Make your way to the Russian Fiends communication tower and steal the information we need. Make your way to the Russian communication tower and steal the information we need. Good lord, no need to get violent now. I think the theory was the turret forced them to reroute. That is possible. I think that's actually what I read. I just forgot what I read. Wait. Nothing shoots me if I don't shoot them, right? Can I wait for them to, like, leave and then go to the communication tower? Is that a thing I can do? Because where are these guys going? Are they just passing through? If they could just leave, and I wouldn't have to fight them. Yeah, but they didn't avoid the threat in the original game, right? Unless threat avoidance was something new. Wait, how many guys can I get away with killing before going to the tower? Is that a thing that can even work? Never, I'm just going to the tower. This really needs to be the north route. If it's not the north route, I will restart again. Because I'm seriously not doing east again. Not after what just happened. Excellent. The party will reward you well for your bravery. From the information you have found, we see that the convoy will be using the northern bridge. Yes! There are explosives hidden in some crates. Northern bridge. They will take. Wait for the convoy and determine which vehicle is carrying the fragment of our property. As it passes the crates, use your sniper rifle to detonate the crates. Don't miss! The glory of the People's Republic is at stake. Well, Windows 98 has all kinds of problems. That's not really a huge surprise now, is it? Gosh, Windows 98 sucks! I don't know why anyone would dare to run it. Unless they were emulating it using, like, a virtual machine. I don't know why, but sniping is suddenly not hard for me anymore. I used to struggle with it. But now, it's going well. I haven't missed a single shot. Holy crap. Hello there. Who else is coming to kill me? Oh, it's, there's that, that jerk right there. Anyone else? Anyone else dare to challenge? Oh, here, hello there. I thought I killed you already. Oh, I missed. Who cares though, you're dead. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else at all? If not, I will be on my- oh shoot, hello. Where did you come from? Ah, oh, what? Really? Are you serious? We'll take this. Seriously? 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 Stupid hitbox. Come on. I keep going that way. Thank you! Oh, hello there. The turret's gonna spawn right there, isn't it? And then I need to snipe it. Oh, I didn't save, did I? It's the north route. I need to save for the north route, because I'm not doing east again. There we go! Turret. Spawn in. There you are. Just gotta get to the turret, then I'll probably save again. 95? Not sure if I ever had 95. I might have gotten straight from Windows 3.1 to Windows 98 back in the day. When my, whenever my parents got a new computer. I guess back then it was new. It's not new anymore. So where is that north bridge? 
It's that way. Well, that's just lovely. I don't remember the turret spawning in here, seriously. Like, I feel like this turret should be somewhere else, but no complaints. It's easy to snipe where it is now. In the turret. Save again. And that was the whole point. This is gonna be fun to edit later. After all, all these live streams end up as highlight videos or something to show how to beat each mission with, a, with most of the fail cut out. Good lord. I think what I usually do is I go, go to the part where I complete it and I work my way backwards on the editing timeline. <laughs> Figure out where did I save, where did I load, and if I cut everything together, can I actually comprehensively show how to beat this mission? Whatever, though. Can I stop here and not regret it? I wonder. Well, I don't actually want to stop here. I want to stay out of range of those darn turrets. And that is a proximity mine. It shouldn't be able to get me on the other side of the hill, but it does, because that's how the game works. Whatever. Maybe the best bet is to go straight to the nav somehow, and then try to kill all the pilots that are down here. I don't know! Getting the repair early was probably a bad idea, but I'll try anything at this point. Seriously? I can't even jump snipe because there's no jump. There's basically no jump. Look how bungy I am. Bungy, 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 bungy. Pilot cannot jump. He must be white. I know, that's racist. But what do? Boom. See, I'm at the nav, and I really should be safe here, but the fighters disagree. So they decide to come after me, even though they're really—they're seriously not supposed to, because in the original game, I could park here and be safe from fighters. The only thing I have to worry about is soldiers and pilots sneaking up on me. And there's a guy there. Run, 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 run. Oh my gosh, I have a great idea. Why don't I snipe the flankers? What a fantastic idea. Yeah. I cannot air snipe with crap. Where are you going? Well, back to the turret. Where's that sniper? I already figured out where he was, right? He was supposed to be, like, on the hill somewhere. Whatever, I'll get back up to the turret and I should be able to hit him from there. And there's a fighter here, I see that. If I could somehow kill the fighter without taking too much damage, that would be fantastic, I kid you not. Problem is, I already got the repair. Maybe if I had saved the repair for later, this would actually work. View switching. That actually worked out quite well indeed, I like that. Half hull is all I need, I'm okay with half hull. I don't need full hull. Where's that sniper, though? The one that was shooting me. He stopped shooting me for some reason. I'm not sure why, but I am okay with that. I think I'm gonna go back to where that nav is now. Pack up real fast, hope I don't get shot. I should probably save here, since that went so well. Not even kidding. Actually, let me back up, because when I hop out, I need to not fall down. I'll save here. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. I already beat that one. That's the second save up from the bottom. It's the one I just saved to. And as we know, these crates take two hits. So let's get the first one out of the way. I should have probably done that before I saved. But whatever. Now, I just have to defend my turret from random pilots and hopefully not flankers until the convoy finally gets here. 
simple, right? Should be no problem. I hate that I had to go back this far. But it was the only way. That's assuming this all works out. It could fail horribly just like all my other attempts did. Oh, hello, sir. I see you moving there. Boy, it's too bad you don't have any, like, ice-colored suits. Otherwise, you would be really hard to spot. Boom! I've spent an hour on this mission already? That's that's amazing. I guess not really an hour. I did, like... I just kind of sat here for, like, 30 seconds before I started the mission. Whatever, though. What do with this? Just need a convoy. Aha. Fighter, just don't come over here and everything will be fine. I will not have to kill you. You will not have to kill me. And we can live our lives in peace. There can't be peace without war. But you know, it's up to you. If you want to skip the war part and just leave me alone, that would be fantastic. I would have no complaints. To be quite honest. Eh. I should save again. I'm going to overwrite that other one. Second save up from the bottom is now this part here. Perfect. And I still haven't reached the three minute mark where he tells me that the convoy will arrive in three minutes. Still waiting for that. I'm getting thirsty just waiting for it. I have a feeling Mission 8 is going to be easy compared to this. Because I'll have a recycler and I'll actually be able to build stuff. But I could be oh so wrong. It can't be that easy. It's going to be the final uh, Chinese mission after all. <clears throat> then at some point, I still have to go back and beat Chinese mission number two. I couldn't even beat it in the original game, so what chance do I stand now? I got pretty far in the original game, though. I got past the part where the, the, the golem comes back to base. And uh, all that. I got General Fu to appear but I could never defend him. And then I failed and I hadn't saved, so... I think at that point I may have just given up. I don't remember what actually caused me to give up on that mission in the original game, but that is a thing that happened. I just gave up on trying to beat it. Same with Mission 8, but the only reason I gave up on that one, like I said before, is because it crashed. I'd like I'd build a gun tower and it would crash. Not, not every time, but a lot of the time. Then I might have saved my game and then tried to reload, but maybe that caused a crash. I don't remember. It's been a long, long time. Too long. There's another flanker that's not gonna make trouble for me, right? Right? That's what I thought. But seriously, I'm waiting for like a random soldier or pilot to just show up and start shooting my turret. I'm surprised that hasn't happened already. It's what I have come to expect from this mission, to be quite honest. No one's coming? I mean, I'm okay with that, but don't you be tricking me now. Hmm. It's the waiting game again. It's a waiting game. This must be painful to watch. Not even kidding. I, I'm literally doing nothing right now. It doesn't say that's my... It'd be funny if your objective says, do absolutely nothing. You are now Luigi. And Luigi wins by doing absolutely nothing. Freaking love those videos. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna save again, because that's the three-minute mark, and I don't want to have to wait through this over and over. If something goes horribly wrong... If only combat in a turret were not so tricky due to the weird camera, I might have had an easier time killing the flankers and keeping the darn turret. And if I had saved the repair for lack, can you imagine if that repair was still there? I would go get it right now. But the turret's still in green, so that's better than it was before. Ah. Uh. I get the. I guess. I guess you were joking when you said to snipe the fighter, enigmatistic. But you're still. You're still a terrible person. Whatever, though. Maybe not. Maybe... Maybe you're not a terrible person. You were just being terrible once. Being terrible once doesn't make someone a terrible person, right? 
just because I, you know, I could, I could get really dark right here. I was just about to make a really dark joke, and it involved... I won't even tell you what it involved. It was disgusting, so I'm not even going to say it. Jeez, man. Go away, Flanker! This is my house! Oh, I should probably climb up here and see when the convoy's coming, because I can usually spot them before they show up on my radar. No sign- oh, there they are! I was about to say no sign of them, but they're right there. Yep, here they come. Now. <laughs> I like dark humor too, but it makes me feel bad. Anyway. I really hope those flankers are not going to make trouble for, for my turret here. I may move the turret somewhere else. Now that the convoy is close by, I'm actually going to save again. Now I can try out a few things. So I kind of want to move the turret out of that range or whatever. Maybe they won't spot it as they cross the bridge. If that's even how this works. And if this ends up not if, if this ends up not working out, I did just save, so not too many worries there. Good lord, this is a slow moving convoy. Pretty sure Chugga Conroy could move faster, or should I say Chugga Convoy? I think that is hands down my best pun. And it's about a man who loves puns, so it's perfect. I can take the shot from all the way back where the turret is, but that may not be necessary. I mean, I know I have to run right after I do this, so having to run to the turret could be a liability. But we'll see how this works out. Soon! Soon! And this time I have the turret. Things are a whole lot better. Holy crap, I'm really looking forward to this now. Looking forward to beating this. I already hit the thing, right? I'm just going to assume that I have, because if I fire now... You know, I could just double tap. There's nothing wrong with that. I could fire... I could just fire twice. Nope, we're good! We're good! Where's the drop zone? Okay, so even if I lose this turret, it may not be too big of a deal now. Oh, shoot. It's gonna be a huge deal. Ah! Goodbye! I should probably save here. Oh, hold off on that, though. I saved as the convoy was approaching. That's close enough. Besides, it won't be hard to get back there now. A turret is so much more faster and agile than a pilot. So even though there's that flanker coming after me, I can kind of swing around here, jump over this hill, and kind of just give him the runaround. See, that's the whole point of keeping the turret. It makes things so much easier, aka not impossible. Just a thousand meters or so to go. Wow, I think I just lost that guy. He's probably still after me, but he's not even on my radar now. I like that, because if he's not even on my radar, how's he going to hit me? He's not even in, within range if he's not on the radar. So that guy's going to come after me. I'm going to jump over this hill here. And boom. We're pretty much home free at this point. And now it's time for me to actually lose the turret on purpose or eject. Whichever. Don't really care which. I just have to get up this hill first, I think. Whatever. Whatever. I will give this a try, even though they're probably all after my pilot at this very moment. Oh shoot, I'm gonna have to reload. This is gonna be bad. There's a sniper somewhere. I didn't quite keep that turret long enough. I should have kept it longer. That was my goal. I was supposed to still have it. Get to the center place and then eject. And then all these pilots that are being told to shoot at me would not shoot at me because they would lose track of me because I ejected. So I think I just have to land. Oh, this guy's still coming after me, isn't he? Oh, that was my own guy? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! You all look the freaking same! Oh gosh, that is so racist. Welcome back, Major. Now let us return to Ganymede. Let us return to Ganymede! Yay! 
All right. Well done, Major. Now we can return to our HQ on Ganymede and finish off the Russians once and for all. Woo! That only took an hour and ten minutes. Pfft. Not bad, I guess.